Welcome to our special explainer on the evolving landscape of cybercrime in India. With cyber criminals becoming more sophisticated, we have seen a rise in advanced scams targeting businesses and individuals alike. Today, we break down the most common techniques used and how they execute these scams. Stay with us as we explore their modus operandi. First on the list is Business Email Compromise or in short BEC. Here's how it works. Cyber criminals hack into legitimate business email accounts. Once inside, they observe communications, waiting for the perfect moment to impersonate key personnel. They then send fraudulent instruction, often redirecting huge payments to their own accounts. Now let's talk about ATM cloning and skimming. These criminals attach devices to ATM machines that capture card details and PIN from unsuspecting victims. One high-profile case was the Cosmos Bank heist in Pune, where 94.42 crore was stolen using clone cards over 28 countries in just two days. Next is the SIM swap fraud. This involves fraudster obtaining your mobile numbers, SIM card and accessing your banking apps through OTPs, eventually draining your accounts. Phishing and wishing attacks have now become everyday cyber threats. In phishing, deceptive emails trick victims into revealing sensitive information. Wishing is voice phishing where attackers impersonate the legitimate institution to get access to your personal data. More advanced attacks like cryptojacking involve secretly using your computer's processing power to mine cryptocurrencies. Then there is ransomware where attackers encrypt your files and demand a ransom, usually in cryptocurrencies. Ponzi schemes are yet another common cyber fraud. Cyber criminals lure victims by promising high returns on investments. But once enough money is collected, they disappear without a trace. And finally, one of the most prevalent today, social media impersonation and extortion. Hacker creates fake profiles or hack into real accounts often using them to extort money or sensitive information from contacts. As you can see, cyber criminals are using a variety of methods to target us, whether it is through email scams, ATM frauds or social media impersonation. The sophistication of these attacks is alarming. But there is one defense we all have, and that is awareness. Simple actions like enabling two-factor authentication, being wary of unsolicited mails and securing your accounts can go a long way in preventing these crimes. Both individuals and businesses must stay informed and practice good cyber hygiene. That's in today's explainer. Remember, awareness is your first and the strongest line of defense. Stay safe, stay informed and protect your digital life. I'm Ria and this is One India. Thank you for watching.